Hey you, I hear you want to live on Mars. <laughs> I'm Mars McGee, head of the Mars McGee Mars mission. And in this instructional video, we're going to showcase a little bit, a little problem that our astronauts commonly face up on the Red Planet. Enjoy. As you know, our mission on Mars is to uncover whether life has existed or not. Our leading hypothesis is that it has. In fact, your location, the Gale Crater, which is the dependent burial by the way, is, or is theorized to have once been a massive lake teeming with life. Therefore, it is the prime target for fossil hunting on Mars. Now to our simulation. The biologist of your team has just taken back Martian soil samples, the independent variable by the way, that, you know, he's going to study for fossils. And what does he find? Fossils. However, these aren't normal fossils. These are little Mars demon fossils. See, our leading top NASA scientists theorize that little demons live on Mars, or at least used to. Now, to address the elephant in the room, yes, this is why we brought a priest. You see, the Mars demon fossils are very capable of possessing people. In fact, your biologist is probably going to get possessed. In the event this happens, the priest must perform an exorcism. However, since he's trained on Earth exorcisms and not Martian exorcisms, he's probably going to mess it up. And he's going to end up getting possessed. Which is not good. The now possessed priest is going to go after your food supply. This is because potatoes, which is your main crop that you brought with you, closely resemble the Mars demon's natural prey, the plimp. The plimp is a creature closely resembling a potato, as seen in this image. Basically, what it's gonna do is it's gonna destroy your food supply, as well as it's gonna destroy your food heater. So, uh-oh, your food's gonna freeze. Now, lucky for you, you have an engineer on your team. This engineer can hopefully whip up some sort of solution, whether that be making a new heater or just growing food inside your residential area. The bad news is that your now-possessed little alien demon priest is going to run off into the Martian sunset never to be seen again. Hope you weren't planning on bringing him back alive. I came to this planet in search of a new hope for humanity. I received complete freedom from it instead. I part from my earthly worries for I am no longer human. I bid thee farewell. This concludes our simulation. Now it is very important we train astronauts in the event that a possessed Mars demon priest destroys your food heater, because this happens like a lot. Our last Mars mission, fortunately people didn't make it. However, that will not be you. Thank you, I'm Mars McGee, signing off.